So, good morning, champions. Um, happy Thursday. Welcome to Free to Love Me TV with Monica Joyce. So, I actually want to speak to my kings for a minute. Um, if I may, um, I would like to bring a daily dose of champion to uh, my kings that are tuned in. So, here's the thing. Um, first, please like and share my video. I need you all to subscribe. Um, the intention is so that we can have our own platform, uh, Free to Love Me TV Network, so that we don't have to have people like um, organizations like Twitter and Facebook um, governing the real meaningful things that we say, and we don't want anyone else deciding um, what stays and what goes. So we want to create our own network um, where we can clearly have a freedom of speech and um, kind of do our own thing. So yeah, click and shy, uh, I'm sorry, click like and share especially with your opinionated friends and family so here's the thing um over the years i have watched um very intentionally and intensely at um the story of most successful queens and a lot of us um more so than not uh, our stories are that we have raised children um as single women and I just would like to speak to um, our black kings. So first of all, kings, yes, it is true that you are not treated equally. But I need to let you know that you were born um, with a different intention in mind, right? So man kind of had his own um, intention and um, did things that were not necessarily... Um, what God had intended for you. So you were born from power and riches and love and wealth um, and all of those amazing things. And so I would just like for you guys, um, for the men, for the kings to start living and walking in that lineage. Um, what do I mean by that? I mean that um, I'm urging you to stop leaving your queens at home. It's so heartbreaking that every story I hear of a, success, of a successful woman, most times it's, I was a single mom, children, um, grownups, always referring, uh, referencing that they are from a single parent household. Yes, my hat goes off to the queens. I have to do it. You have to do it. If that is what um, the design is for your um, specific situation, yes, step up. But I, I'm directing this to the kings because you don't want your daughters um, to have that story. You don't want your sons to have that story. You cannot raise your family sneaking off with your mistress or your sidekick and texting to see how the children are. We need you at home. We need you being present. Your daughters, they need you. They need your structure, your balance, your love. And I'm gonna tell you that when a woman, a girl is raised with her father in a loving, intentionally loving household, there's something that happens in that little girl. And what happens is, we don't grow up looking for um, what we should have gotten from our fathers and other men. And so this is a whole different topic, but queens, we then start looking for our husbands and significant others to love us like our fathers, not their job. But anyway, let's fast forward. That is a, another conversation. My point today is kings, your queens need you at home. Your daughters, your sons, we need you to make to make that difference, I'm asking you today to show up for yourself, for your families. You are the missing piece. Stay home, contribute to your family, encourage your wife, live in your purpose and live it by example. We need you to change your children and build your children up so that we can build communities and eventually a world that is changed. But it starts with you, kings. We need you and we need you to walk in your purpose. We, you know, there was a time when you we, you didn't have the choice to stay home with your wife in, in the family. You were literally ripped from the household to go work outside of the house as a slave 
But today, you have a choice. Choose to stay and do it for the right of the children. Communicate. Pray with your queen. Take back your household in the way that God intended for you to be head of your household. Kings, we need you. Queen Tings. Mwah.